A sign for every hostage. More than a week after Hamas struck Israel with terror, killing and kidnapping civilians, people have come together here in Tel Aviv. Some are blaming the government. Others came in solidarity with victims' families. My Asraf belongs to one of them. The 24-year-old is missing six of her own family members. At around 10.30 a.m., terrorists entered their home, dozens of them, armed with knives, waving the knives at them and shouting. I spoke with Daron in the last minute, and she sent me a recording. My, there are terrorists here. We are alone. They are shouting. Daron Katz is her aunt. She was taken together with her small daughters, Aviv and Raz. They were visiting family in Niroz, a kibbutz close to Gaza. Ravid Katz, the uncle, is missing too, as is his elderly mother, Ifrat, and her husband, Gad Moshe Moses. I'm here because my family has no voice right now. They are dead or kidnapped. I'm here to be their voice. I expect from the world the maximum amount of intervention. She learned what happened through a Hamas TikTok video. Mai tells us her aunt's phone was later located in Gaza. The situation is desperate. My aunt is a German citizen, but in her situation, that doesn't help. It wasn't just Israelis that Hamas killed and kidnapped. 43 different nationalities were represented among their hostages. As many as 150 people have been abducted and are believed to still being held hostage in Gaza. Their families don't know where they are, how they are doing, and if they're even still alive. People in Israel are united in the conviction that there needs to be a response. But what exactly this should look like, at least at this protest, isn't clear. The Israeli government must focus first of all on doing whatever is necessary in order to release the hijacked people. Instead of focusing on trying to do some kind of revenge or whatever they are trying to do. I think the only option we have now, unfortunately, it's to clear Gaza. So many people in Israel understand that this blood circle is not the solution. It never was, it never will be. At this point, though, the bloodshed seems like it is far from over.